All right. You're doing great yourself? Yes, it's great to have a chance to connect with some of the evidence. These are going to start um, recording stuff for community engagement purposes. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Okay, just go up there. Thank you. Good job, good evening. You too. Hello, hello. Bye, how are we all doing? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Springfield, Tennessee. Springfield, Tennessee. I thought that was just me. Yeah. I just smell some kind of doing. <laughs> Y'all keep evidence like a gun or something. We try to get it as soon as we can after the court case is disposed. Yeah. Um, so it's it's very uh, quick. We try and get rid of everything. But uh, yeah, so we have all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, most everything over here is homicides, uh, and unfortunately we have to keep that forever because uh, you never know if, if someone does get put in prison and they have the right to appeal. You know, that's how our court system works, and uh, we have to keep yeah, we have to keep up with it. Uh, a little bit of everything in here. So just a, it's, it's an exciting room, um, but man, am I ready to get rid of all this paperwork. So, <laughs> so we'll go right back out and we'll head upstairs. Okay. Uh, so, uh, my state law, we either have a tree or a tree. So, that's what we have to destroy that. Now, some of these guns, like this, uh, have a bullpup AK-47, we can get a ward of them. And then sell it on an option or like to a certified firearms dealer um, in a certain amount of time. But we have to post it online. There's a bunch of different state laws and rules and regulations that we have to go through. So, yeah. Yeah, they found that in Garden Street Park in the room. I don't think it was fire, but. Yeah, you can hide it easier. Oh, um, now it also makes, it yeah, you can put it in your pants or whatever. Uh, it makes the pellet spread go out a little bit quicker, so you're going to hit a wider area but not be quite as dead. And it'll break, yeah, it'll hurt your wrist pretty bad. Um, yeah, we'll go right upstairs. That's a good question because I'm always wondering that. Yeah, so you, they do a little bit of both. We've got some that are like this one we saw. It's also one just big giant circle for this police department. Like uh, the chief said, it's been added on to various different stages. It's like the this is the city zone. jail? At, at one point, that part was. Gotcha. There was How guys. interesting. Gotcha. Now they're offices. Look at that. I can see that, yeah. Jail cells. Uh, All right, the history. Right. 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 Uh, I'm going to go into that in just a little while. I got a little PowerPoint slide. So we'll go over all of our command structure. It may seem like military, quote unquote, but it's not. You know, it's just how it's kind of laid out. Uh, narcotics used to be in here. When I was in narcotics, this is where we had a little closet. This used to be, like I said, this was the gel cells. When they ripped up this floor, you could see the water pipes heading into the offices. It was really cool. Um, but uh, that was a long time ago. All right, so week one is complete. And uh, real quick, we just took a tour of the uh, facility. Uh, first and foremost, we also had the... Um, Chief of Police, uh, the mayor, and the city manager stopped by to welcome all the uh, cadets uh, for the academy and uh, end up taking a tour uh, and discussing, uh, you know, went to the evidence room, the records room, uh, the administrative office, uh, and talked about, you know, the functions and the history, uh, you know, of these departments, uh, visited, visited the lobby and talked about the process when you first walk in and how that would work. From the inside and out, uh, went to the interview room uh, as well uh, for questioning of particular cases and uh, visited the detective's office and just kind of, uh, you know, just had a chance to get a lay of the land as far as the op operation. Uh, then we sat down uh, in the conference room or the, uh, what's the 
can't find the word. Uh, but we sat we sat down in the conference room. It's not a conference room though, but um, and discussed uh, really the purpose of the academy. Uh, what, which is basically discussing and showing what it means to be a police officer, and the actual process to become a police officer. And so, um, as of right now, some fun facts. Uh, this basically. Right now, 494 Springfield citizens for every one police officer. I believe last year there were 17,478 calls for service made. And uh, there's there's currently 41 sworn officers for the Springfield Police Department. Uh, Some of the biggest things and messages the department wants people to know is just to make sure you're locking your doors. Uh, There's currently no penalty to leave your door unlocked and there's certain, particularly firearms that get taken um, needlessly or the car is running or the keys are in the car and you know, the the items inside get taken away and firearms are usually, um, you know, a challenge. So they're they're requesting for everyone to lock their doors, just out of safety for everyone. Just remember to lock your doors. Um, Also, because we're in the police academy, you know, we're talking this this conversation, Heroin is a growing challenge, you know, um, for the city. And, you know, you know, when you get into those kind of conversations, you know, you get into individuals' lives and that's a physical and spiritual conversation there. Um, I do want to just say, just be folk careful what you put on social media, as that's always a great place for employers and housing and anyone to be able to, to just kind of do some research on you. So you always want to, you know, keep your stuff tight, if you will, and just be mindful of what you put out, you know, for yourself, but that, you know, sometimes may come to bite you in the back back end on the, in the, on the long run. So just be mindful of what you put on your social media, because that's pretty much your story, your brand, your history and information right there. Um, it's a nine week program on Tuesday evenings, and there's two weeks out of the uh, nine weeks where we'll be uh engaged on a Saturday and we're also going to stop by the Nashville um, their training facility in Nashville um, and where they have the actual obstacle course and helicopters things of that nature Um, just uh, some other fun facts as far as a basic police school uh, they usually require 40 hours of firearm training 10 hours of emergency medical training uh, 50 hours of law as they are enforcing the law uh, they focus also on things 25 hours of interpersonal communication, uh, 40 hours of defense tactics. They've also focused on human relations as well, mental illness, and, you know, just trying to combat the challenge of law enforcement officers, uh, you know, taking their own lives because of the activities they go through, you know, each day. Um, and then we also talked about, um, you know, it's important for, off, you know, for when it comes to de-escalation, um, active listening. Um, there's another one I was given. Was active listening was one when it comes to de-escalation, and um, also just made a statement that the I believe it's a school resource officer, which is the police officer, if you will, law enforcement officer, if you will, that's on you know the public school, middle school, high school campuses uh, for Robertson County. That's done through uh, the sheriff's department and not the you know Springfield Police Department. And so that's um, what's going on uh, for this week. Um, I have the schedule for, well, we looked at the schedule for the next few weeks or the the, uh, the next eight weeks, if you will, moving forward. And it's going to be a full, it's uh, three hours each week. Uh, I think it's five hours, for, at least on one Saturday, I know. And uh, we'll keep you posted for uh, the next one. Uh, all the best. Uh, thank you for for donating what you felt this message was worth to you by clicking the link. Um, Also, thank you for liking, following, subscribing. And uh, if you have any uh, comments when it comes to community relations or business development, uh, please leave them and we can see if we can start a conversation.